If you want to buy cheap Ultimate Team coins, go and check out MMOPO.com and use the discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourself 8% off your order. Have you ever wondered what is the best team that I can build on FIFA for about 300,000 coins? Well, in this video we're going to find out, so let's build a squad. So for 300,000 coins guys, Xbox or PlayStation, usually PC is about you know 20 to 30,000 coins more expensive at this price range. But we're going to build a squad which is the best possible in terms of my opinion. I mean, I think my opinion is pretty solid on FIFA. I've got a lot of FIFA knowledge, I've built a lot of teams, used a lot of players. But let me know in the comments if you disagree with any of the players and uh, maybe some alternatives for it. So, the first player is going to be Chesney, so it's going to give you a little bit of an insight as to what players we're going to go for, but you can probably tell from the thumbnail some of the key players in this squad. Something else to remember guys, I've deliberately built a team with players that uh, are not in the ones I've done before, because you know, if I've done one for 250,000 coins, obviously with 50,000 coins I could have just added one more player to the squad, that would be very boring. So for this video, I wanted to use some more players, more leagues, so the next player we're going to link with him is going to be... Manalas, one of the better centre backs in this game for like, you know, 85 rated for the coins that you pay. He's very good. Something to mention about him though is he cannot dribble and he cannot pass and, uh, Let's not mention his shooting. Literally, he's got 25 shooting. So he is literally a sense back, out and out. As soon as you win the ball, pass it off. So you're looking at about uh, 15,000 coins for Manalas and about 20,000 coins for Chesney. Now, for about 40,000 coins, we have the Licks. Now, you can get two versions of his card that are exactly the same cards. You can get his Team of the Week Moments card, which is a pretty nice design, um, or you could go for the ones to watch. It doesn't matter. Of course, the ones to watch might get another inform, so it might be safer to go for that but the team of the week moments will be used for SBC requirements so they they can both go up in value uh, but now we have 72 pace on this cards uh, mostly in its sprint speed so even though he does have quite low sprint speed and I've you know I've spoken about players like Nesta um, before that are quite slow lack of agility but his agility and balance isn't too bad it's not groundbreaking but because he has that higher sprint speed um, it's going to stop people getting in behind him also using the shadow chem style means that he's getting the most out of his sprint speed so we're going to find out in this video if he's actually any good when we get to the gameplay but uh, just by looking at him and playing against him i know he's going to be solid now guys for the center mid we have gone for alan one of the best players that you can buy for the centre mid or CDM position, especially when you think about the nationality and the league, he's going to get a nice strong link there to Manalas as well, since uh, if we go for a different right back, we need to get a strong link to Manalas uh, because uh, De Ligt already has a strong link to Chesney. So that's what we've gone for there. Now, what I wanted to do was something a little bit different on the right-hand side. We do have some very cheap con ball players, so I've decided to go for this player right here who has 95 pace, 80 defending, 85 physical. He is quite short at 5 foot 7, but he's got 5 star weak foot, so you could switch him over in game if you've got someone else on the other side of the pitch you don't like playing that side, you know. His stats just look really solid. 96 stamina as well, decent strength and aggression considering he's quite small. But as it stands, he's got free chemistry. So let's give him some more chemistry and then we can actually talk about, the, you know, the boost that he's going to get because it really puts me off when I see minus 9 on every stat. So, the player I've gone for again is obviously a common ball player, another Chilean player from the same league to get us a nice link as you can see here again 96 flat pace and what I mean by that is equal pace 96 acceleration 96 sprint speed 94 agility 93 balance and 89 dribbling and do you know what I'm going to be doing with this player I am going to be putting an anchor or a no, yeah definitely an anchor or basically something to boost his defending and the reason why he's actually going to be the partnership with Alan in this team and that's actually very strange because I think most people will be using him as an attacker and they'll be trying to boost that finishing stat but uh, even though his shooting his passing his dribbling is very good he can actually play in midfield if you look at players like Lampard some of the icons that are midfielders some of them don't even have like 73 defending or they have like mid 70s defending so I'd be interested to see how this player plays in fact let's sort this out now so what we're going to do is we're going to put a sentinel on him so that's going to boost his defending and physical i rarely do this with players i usually go for hunter um hawk dead eye stuff like that all the basic ones i very i very rarely use sentinel cards but obviously we need as much strength and defending stats as possible if we're going to play him in the middle of the park he is four star skills four star we foot high high work rates but it's five foot seven but uh, again fifa 20 meta we don't need height now on the left side of the pitch we're going to go for a very popular combination of robertson and also Mane, you can probably tell from the title. So I'm not even going to try to, you know, long this one out. Uh, they are a very go-to uh, combo. Obviously getting uh, good chemistry being from the same team. So we don't need to link them with any of the players in the squad. Mane for us, I think is going to be playing as a lamb in the squad. Um, you can play him as a cam, you can play him as a striker. He's very adaptable. 
Um, and depending on where you play him, you might want to change his chemistry style. So if you're putting him in front of goal more often, you want to probably put something like a dead eye on him. If you're playing him on the wings, you might want to up his top speed, his, his sprint speed, and also a little bit of his strength as well. It really depends on what way you want to go. You could even go for you know something to boost his dribbling. It really depends uh, where you play him on the pitch. And obviously, Robertson, we're going for an anchor. You could go for a shadow as well since uh, he's got 85 pace, which is pretty decent, but he does lack that strength. So that's why I've gone for an anchor with him. So for Mane, you're looking at about 100,000 coins and for Robertson you're looking at about 15 to 20,000 coins depending on what time of the week it is if it's on you know the worst time to buy players then you're going to pay a little bit more of a premium I've got to mention how much these players cost as well a Pazzo is going to cost you about 17 to 16,000 coins and uh, this player right here Fuendalier wait what Fuens Zalida is going to be about 25,000 coins it's not that hard to pronounce to be honest Fuens Zalida Fuens Zalida Fuens Zalida Fuens Zalida Okay, I've got to like ingrain it in my brain. But guys, for this team, a player that I have been itching, I've been wanting to use in FIFA 20 for so long. I've actually packed him, but I sold him instantly. It is going to be team of the group stage, Martinez, who actually originally starting out as or started out as a 86 rated card, obviously with his winter upgrades. Um, he went from an 81 to an 84. Therefore, this card got pushed up a little bit. So, uh... When he first come out, I sold mine for like 120 or 140,000 coins because um, this team of the group stage was so, so high in pack weight. You know, I packed my team of the group stage De Bruyne, sold it for 800k and then you could buy it for 400k like a week later. It was ridiculous to pack weight during that period, but this player looks awesome. Like for a player that in game, right, he is only five foot nine, but he looks massive. He is very, very stocky. Uh, he's got four star skills, four star weak foot. Decent stamina for a striker, you can get away with the 82. Um, he's got 89 strength though, 89 aggression. Um, he's got flipping out, 99 heading accuracy. Not that it matters, but like it's just weird to see a 99 stat on such a cheap player. You're looking at about, I think, 40,000 coins. No, 35,000 coins to get this player. At one stage, he was going for about 25,000 coins. That is ridiculous. 93 agility and 89 dribbling. But he's got a little bit of low balance, uh, 79 balance. But he's got the strength, you know, when a player has high strength, it's really hard to, you know, well, let's say they've got 90 strength, it's hard to get them over 80 on the balance. So this is something I don't mind, I'm used to it. And uh, what we've gone for here is a hunter, because I wanted to get his uh, sprint speed up, and also wanted to get his shot power up by plus 10 as well. Now for my cams in this squad, one of them is going to be playing on the wing, one of them is going to be playing Ram or Lamb or something. It's going to be Mertens and Insigne, very similar players actually, both 87 rated from the same squad, from the same team, sorry, and uh, similar stats as well in terms of they, they excel at the pace, the dribbling, but uh, Mertens for me is uh, slightly better. I prefer Mertens. Uh, you do have the scream Insigne, but he's slightly out of the budget for this video. Um, the finishing on Insigne is not quite as good, but he is slightly better at dribbling, and he also has a slight better top speed. So I think we're going to be playing Insigne out on the sides with Mane on the other side, and then Mertens as the cam in a 4-2-3-1 with Martinez as a striker. That is going to be my go-to formation. So let's sort out our formation now. So what we've got set up, guys, is a 4 2 Three, one. This is my go-to formation. If you want to see the custom tactics, the instructions, then go and watch my video called the custom tactics and formation video. Uploaded about two weeks ago. It's very easy to find on my channel, but we go through everything in detail. So what I'm going to do here, Martinez a striker, Mertens as cam, with Mane on the left and Insigne on the right. And I know a lot of people will be saying, why don't you play Mane uh, as the cam? Um, I think if I do that, I won't have any like sprint speed on the wings. And I feel like Mane can play really well on the wings for me. If he doesn't work, then I'll let you know at the end of the gameplay. But this is the way that I'm going to play Mane. Now, if we need to go into the 4-4-2 formation, this is if I'm not having much luck with 4-2-3-1. Uh, pressure on heavy touch, and it, it also gets my midfielders more involved, which will be interesting with this new player here. Uh, we've got Mertens as a striker with Martinez, Mane, and then Insigne on the right side. And then our all-out attack here is the 4-3-1-2. This is for when things get rough. You know, we, we need to come back. We need to win. We've got our left-backs and right-backs getting forwards. And uh, we've got Martinez and Mane as strikers. We also have Mertens as our cam. We've dropped Insigne back into the midfield. Not ideal, but he's got to play somewhere. And then we have Allen as our last line of defence with uh, Fuendazila. No, Fuenzalida as uh, you know getting forward with his high high work rates he's not going to be on stay back he's going to be getting forward as well so it'll be really interesting to see how this team performs in game so as i said guys it will cost you about 300,000 coins i actually built this squad yesterday on footbin and it's telling me that's about 320,000 coins now but it is a thursday 
as Thursdays go, the it goes up in price, and over the weekends it will come down, and it'll probably be worth like 250 this time next week. You know the way the market's been going. But let's get in some games. I'm really looking forward to playing with uh, well quite a lot of these players actually. In fact, we're going to slap another chemistry style here, uh, Sentinel on Opazo as well because he's so fast. He's so fast and agile. We don't need any extra pace. We just need more strength, more defending, and he's going to be. I think it's going to be amazing. Okay, so we're playing against Deco in his prime. I have a feeling that this guy packed his, his prime for his prime pack. <laughs> that is what I do not want to happen to me. He's like one of the worst, like definitely top five worst icons to pack. Bring it back to Mertens. Yep. Oh, Martin was right there. I was just too slow to pass. Oh, where, where is my other defender? We're testing his position now. He's nowhere to be seen. There he is. Delict there. It doesn't feel as slow as 72's pace. I've got to say, maybe when it comes down to acceleration, he will. Lovely. Martinez, that is a... Wow, wow. I was actually going to say I did a fake shot. It was a huge fake shot. Gave too much time away and the angle was terrible. But this guy is a serious... This is a serious card, man. For 87 rated, his in-game stats are crazy. And for the value of 35k... Look at look how he's flipping hench as well. Oh my god. The licks, let's see what it's like. Bang. Consistent. That's what I like. Lovely. Lovely chop. Let's see if we can find Martinez. Yep. Oh, it's not. It's Mer Mertens. I was actually supposed to play that to Martinez, but I'll take it. Oh, that is a that is a costly mistake, bro. Look at the turning power of Mertens, though. Let's find some space with Mane. That is a brilliant part. Well, actually, it's not, is it? Get there, then. Ooh, flipping Baresi, then. Got lucky. Again, Mr. Fandilo. Sorting out Messi now. Free ball. Oh, no. Should have picked that up. Should have picked that up. And I guess that is where... Having a lack of interceptions and marking might affect the ability to tr stop that ball. So I put the player there. I put Mr. Fantablio, whatever his name is, in the way. But he didn't want to make a, an inter interception. Yes, Martinez. Oh, how did you miss that? How did you score the other one but miss that one? Look at Martinez. Go. Look at him go. Let's try and test out that pace with a hunter on him. Into Mane. Chop. No, that was not supposed to happen. Well, yeah, here we go. Oh, my God. Gone round him. Ha That's a handball. That's a handball. Man, that's risky pass, but it worked. Lovely timing there from Mane. Let's go near post. Easy as that. Nice composure there. That's the thing about the Ligt. He has some amazing stats, doesn't he? Nice dribbling from my CDM. Forced our skills as well. Forgot about that with a CDM. Nice. Look, the positioning from Mane has been second to none. Martinez near post. Outside the box, though. No. Oh, my God. Deco scored against me. Can't believe it. Literally the worst icon to uh, score against me after insulting him. Insigne. Lovely ball to Mertens. Oh, my God. What a, what a ball. Oh, my God. Mate, his dribbling is no joke. I know that I've said that already, but like, he's got some flipping nice stats on his card. Right, so Butragueno and Essien. So that's probably the Butragueno from the first icon swaps with the second icon swaps, Essien. It would not surprise me if this guy is trying to get Zidane. Oh, mate. Stop it. Oh, stop it. <laughs> he thought that he... What? I thought I was in, bro. I thought I was in. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I thought I was in. Yeah. Oh my god. This guy has got a lifeline. Oh, bro. He's just running around with Essien like Kante. People people that use Kante are the same people that use fucking Essien, bro. Tell you. Every time. Same same way to defend. Just just run around the CDM and hope. Yeah. Oh, Delict. Oh, Manalas got a touch as well. That was so lucky it bounced back to him. But that animation from Delict, you don't often get that as a centre-back. Oh, look at that from Mane again. Oh, that is filth. Absolute filth. Such a shame it's not a goal. I have ripped this guy up, man. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, mate, my vision. I am basically, if Ozil was a part of a video game team, that would be me. That would be me. That makes no sense. But you guys know what I'm trying to say. My vision is next to none. I don't know what Mahrez this is, but it's probably a good one. 
That's an, that is a nice bit of dribbling. Get it? Yeah, what? How did the Ligt get that? Again, the Ligt. <sighs> Man, alas, one of you two should have got that. I'm surprised that Butragano was able to volley the ball at like hip height there. That should not have happened. That should not have happened. Let's see that again. Okay, that was some weird animation. That was like that was like a break in the game animation. What are you doing? What? Are you, go on. No, I'd have loved to score that with my centre mid. Love to score that with my centre mid. What's he doing? Where's all this risk coming from? Go on. Yes. Near post. Come on. Finesse it round him. Yes. Not the right shot opportunity. Shot type there. It should have been a power shot. We are back in the game. Problem is, my stamina on my attackers now is really low. And they're just not making the right runs. Apart from Mane, who is. It's, it's not. No one else is. Pressure on heavy touch from like the half. from For too long. No. Oh, that's good. I, I had to cover Buchigreno. Buchigreno is the pay player that he's been passing to all games. So, fair play. Good goal. GG's. Yes. Get there. Oh, why is no one there? Why didn't anyone get there? No, I couldn't pass to anyone unless they was going to miss the ball. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. GG's, though. It's a pretty equal game, to be fair. I had more possession. I was attacking all game, but I feel like, yeah, it was more our stamina towards the end of the game. It just let us down, and we didn't take our opportunities at the start of the game. I knew I'd live to regret that. This team has actually been really, really good. In terms of, like, this team, the person I was most worried about using was actually this guy, like, you know, playing him as a CDM. Was he going to work? Because his defending stats aren't the highest, but giving him that sentinel, um, I actually really, really liked him. Um, obviously, very fast. Uh, I just, I felt like he, at times he wasn't in the right position, but it was only two games that we played and different formations different players make players feel different when you're playing with them or playing against them so Mane was definitely the best player in his team with Martinez as well uh, obviously a lot of the play went through Mertens uh, Insigne quite a small player on the wing I mean it worked but not as well as I would have liked the Ligt was actually much better than I predicted him to be because if you look at his stats he looks a bit slow but uh, his defending was fantastic I saw about three or four animations come out of him where you know he just got a leg out at the last minute or he just uh, he was very reliable basically so i definitely recommend this team or at least some of the players from this squad i like the right mid and right back combination what if i if i were you guys and i had some coins i'd probably look to change insigne insigne was definitely the weakest player of this team uh, not only was he maybe a little bit too weak to be on the wings but he also has really low stamina so at about 60 70 minutes into that game um he was just gassed he was at he was his legs were gone um so if you can pick someone that has uh, higher stamina and suits more of a, a winger's position to get him into a squad or something maybe you have an icon uh, in your club um but yeah guys thank you for watching if you've enjoyed the video if you enjoy these squad builders make sure you drop a like before you leave it'd be greatly appreciated and let me know a budget that you would like me to cover next we've done uh, 500 250 200 uh, 100 and i think that's it at the moment but we're going to do a 1 million coin team a 400 coin team we're going to do loads of different budgets uh, so yeah really looking forward to that anyway guys i'll catch you later Bye bye